Yo, what's up, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is <laughs> Friday, February 3rd, 2023. And today, we got to talk about the Battlebound Eververse rug? Oh, damn, dude. Yo, first of all, dude, I got a lot of emotions. I got a lot of shit going on right now. I just found out some further news this morning. You know, I was thinking about ways to present this, but it's just shocking revelations, dude. Let me just post here that I'm live. Where's this thing at? Oh, no, this is the Twitch stream manager. I can't post this, can I? I don't know. All right, here we go. We'll just ping everybody in general. At everyone. I'm live on Twitch. If you want to come and talk about Eva. Send it now, bro. Yeah, 480 people. That's right. All right, so we'll let people get in here. I have another window open. Here we go. All right, let's see. Damn, dude. This shit is so rough, though. This shit is so tough. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to read the announcement from Deimos. We're going to look at the uh, medium post made here yesterday. This came out yesterday. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. A lot of people talking about it when open stream. Live now on Twitch. Yeah, it's tough, man. This really sucks, dude. As you know, I had 30 ETH invested in this. And at the time, it was $90,000. Ethereum was $3,000 each. So I got $90,000. Is there any more coffee, babe? 90 grand. But that's okay. You know, look. I knew it coming into this, so it's not even really about that. I knew you have to understand those risks when you come in. So I'm, I'm going to look at this with an open mind. We're going to read this announcement. And, you know, post your comments or whatever. And we'll see what's up. All right, here we go. Here we go. So Demo says yesterday. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I know this update has felt like a long time coming. We spent the past month deeply reflecting on the state of Eververse. What we shipped and what we haven't shipped. The gaming landscape and the ultimate direction of Battlebound. And here's the news that just came out too. This is the this is like threw me back this morning. Dude. Like woke up, was ready to make this stream. I'm gonna put a positive spin on this announcement, but then I get hit with this news this morning that Kurzov, the brand ambassador for Battlebound, dumped his Evas on the floor two weeks before this announcement. That shit, yo, that stings, yo. That hits hard. That's tough. That's tough. Especially because you know, look, Deimos is saying we spent the, the past month deeply reflecting on the state of Eververse, right? So they're talking about it internally. They're they're talking about it internally. And Kurzov is in the know. He knows that they're talking about possibly jumping ship and changing. He's feeling it. He's inside. Here he is right here, Kurzov. He's the brand ambassador. I got to pull it up right here. The brand ambassador dog. Why would the brand ambassador dump? He sold. I mean, that, that is just. This just fucks my shit up. Link. I mean, you guys can find a link, dude. Um, I don't want to post it because I don't really want to be like uh, with the post in it. Like, oh, come watch. Really? But I guess whatever, you know? Anyway, uh, and I just said I wish Kerr would have given me the heads up so I could have sold two weeks ago, too Like the brand ambassador did fuck that sucks, dude. That really hurt. So yeah, here's the sales Oh, no, that's not the sales uh, Here's his response Kerr's I was response. Here's my rationale for dumping on the floor Two weeks before the announcement even if you don't care about it. I never cared about 99.9% of my Evas Fuck! The brand ambassador never cared about 99. What? What did I just do? 99.9. So spacebar makes this a new 
pop up. Dude, come on, for real, Kurzov? You never cared about 99%, 99.9% of your, your Evas? Why? <laughs> Why are you the brand ambassador if you don't care about 99.99% .99 of your Evas, bro? I like Kurzov too, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying, like, how does the community care about the project more than some people on the dev team? It doesn't make any sense. And I get that he's brand ambassador for Battlebound, not necessarily Eververse. But this is a terrible look. So let's say Project A starts, launches, he's the brand ambassador for Battlebound, and then all of a sudden there's whispers that Project A ain't working out too good, and they're gonna pivot to Project B. But now all of a sudden, Kurzov gonna dump Project A on the market. It's just, that's, that's a shame, dude. That sucks. So that news really fucking hits me hard. A lot harder than the, than the pivot to Project A. Like I said, I'm putting a positive spin on this shit. All is not lost. But this right here is dirty. Kurzov, bro, you, that's dirty, man. Come on, for a couple thousand dollars, really? You had to dump? You couldn't ping me, bro? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I, w I would have been in disbelief anyway, you know? I guess the signs were there. I could have looked. I wasn't even paying attention. That's the shitty part. I could have looked at the market, seen that Kurzov was dumping on the floor. He was accepting uh, low wrapped ETH offers on his avatars. I then combine that with the fact that they haven't been doing updates. Maybe I could have saw the light, but still. That's straight dirty, bro. That sucks. That's a slap in the face to the whole community that you were out. Right, so this this the ship is sinking, right? Eververse ship is sinking. Nobody knows about it, but the community's like, you know, we're here. You can go check my last video. I'm like, yo, we believe in this team. Yo, they're gonna do it. They're gonna pull this around, all this stuff. Meanwhile, the dude that is actually in the know, the brand ambassador, he's in the back selling off. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. Like, congratulations to Kurzov. He made a couple thousand dollars while everybody lost. But that's, th that's fucked up. Fucked up. So whatever. I mean, there ain't shit I can do about it. But still. I mean, he's he sold into Muck's wet wrapped ETH offers. That's a shame. That's a shame. Is what it is, though, right? What are you going to do? Can't do shit about it. So anyway, back to the announcement. That's just the big boom in my face this morning. You know, I was going to read this announcement, throw a positive spin on it, which I still am going to do. But that whole Kurzov thing just, man, I mean, come on. That's... And now I guess people are going to go look at the market, see who else is selling from the dev team. Hopefully nobody else was selling weeks before this announcement that the team spent the past month deeply reflecting on the state of Eververse. I mean, yo, I get everybody. It's their own money. But Damo should have been like, yo, guys, let's just keep good faith with the community. Don't fucking dump. All right. I know we're talking about possibly pivoting here, but... And I know it's your money, but let's let's take this on the chin so that we don't fucking wreck our community. You know, I mean, you just slip, you just slapped 2,800 people and said, hey, beat it. We're on the newer and greater things, which is OK, though, to go on to newer and greater things. Just don't shit on everybody by dumping on your community. You know who bought those things from Kura, right? Muck, <laughs> Muck, a community member, a player, just like me and whoever else plays the game, a supporter of the game, bought a developer's bags. Damn, that's that's totally, that's like outrageous. That's out of bounds right there. That's out of bounds. I could deal with the business side of thing and the pivoting and business strategy and stuff. But when somebody from the team dumps on a community member, that's a violation, dude. That's fucked up. So whatever. All right. Hopefully that's out of my system now. We asked very hard questions about where we want to be in one, three, and five years from now. And how do we as a small gaming startup maximize our opportunities to successfully navigate in spite of headwinds in gaming web three as CEO it's my job to steer the ship that's right and to achieve this we have to do what's right right coming from the AAA studios you know we did all this stuff although the team has worked incredibly hard to deliver updates above and beyond our original roadmap the hard truth is that we have yet to significantly increase engagement and player retention in game 
Continuing to develop Eververse in his current state is unstable, unsustainable. Ah, so this is a big issue right here. The hard truth is that we have yet to significantly increase engagement and player retention in game. The, the question is why? This is the big thing here, like teetering, right? Why was the game not taking off? How come people weren't playing the game? Why wasn't there significant increase in engagement with the increase in the hiring, the talent pool? Right? What, what was the reason? Well, I mean, let's say what everyone in the community has been saying from day one. Nobody knows about Eververse, bro. Market the game, please. Please market the game. We got this company, uh, is this it right here? Yeah, polkastarter.gg, right? They came out with these fucking uh, reviews. They're reviewing all these games. All these games. Some of these games you never even heard of. I never even heard of. They're not even out yet. They're still in development, in development. Yet they're on this site and they have a review. Now this is just one site, whatever. Take it for what it is. But it's one of the bigger sites. Eververse isn't even on the site. I mean, let's see. I don't know if it's still on. The, if it's oh shit, it's on the site now. It's finally on the site. The day the devs are pulling the plug. It's on the site. They fucking made it. This is what they should have did before. So I would say the game. I mean, Eververse wasn't nominated for any of the awards, whatever. I was I was uh, posting comments on Polka Starters YouTube saying, it's ridiculous that you guys are having a year-end review about Web3 games and you're not even including Eververse, right? So I was saying that. I posted in the Discord like, yo, if you guys want to pump this project, go in this YouTube comments. Tweet at this uh, Polka Gaming. Like, why isn't Eververse here? Stuff like that. But no, Eververse wasn't here. There's no traction with the game. Now, oddly enough, ironically enough, I guess, it's uh, <laughs> it's here. It's here. Look at this. Great work behind this project. Heads up. Amazing project. Keep building, team. No. Oh, team will not keep building. So the, the failure of the game, I would say, is the developer's fault. It's not the game. How could Eververse not work? I mean, there's many reasons that it couldn't work. A lot of games do fail majority, but Eververse is like a Fortnite style game, a third person game, a SSX tricky, right? There's so many things. The vision was a wonderland of an amusement park. You come, you hoverboard, you come, you, you pet race, you have pets, a social hub in the, in the community. Uh, you have a shooter, right? The shooter was on the docket to come out. So the failure of the game and the in-player retention is because of the game. Number one, marketing. Number two, that the game, it, it, it's buggy. It is, it is buggy, right? The frame rate's messed up. When I play on high graphics, the frame rate drops to 30. My computer's good. What's the deal? I had to play on low graphics after the new update. All that could have been worked out. I'm just saying that's the thing of it. The servers sucked, right? The servers, you got booted out. Once there was like 20 people racing together, boom, the whole server crashed and everybody got kicked out. The voice chat was crappy. Uh, that could have been a latency thing with the servers as well, where when there was a lot of people in, you couldn't hear people talking. It would choppy. It would be in and out. Lag, right? So the game had bugs and stuff. So it's not like they had this shining, glowing product and it was the player's fault. Well, we just couldn't make it happen. You know, we did our best. We built this game so strong and so great, but the game just wasn't good enough. That's not what it was. The game didn't work because I would say largely because of the marketing and the content in the game. The, the content, right? You had the new guy come in. I don't know. Who, I forget who it was. He built GP3 in like two weeks or whatever it was. You know, Deimos and Antikar, they built GP2 in like whatever quickly. They're, they're quick. They're putting these things together relatively quickly. So it's not that. I think it was just effort. What I think was, here's what I think happened. All right. So we know about this. Um, let me see here. Um, so here's here's the deal. I never showed this video. I brought it to Deimos and I said, damn, I found this game. It's called Overpowered. Is that what it's called? Overpowered game. What the hell is it? Uh video channel. It's a channel. 
Did he delete it? I don't even know. Did he take it down? Maybe he deleted it. Whatever. There's a game out there, Overpowered. Where the hell's Overpowered, dude? Uh, but anyway, so the game is... It's Eververse. It's all the same Eververse characters. And I was like, all right, this is pretty, this is pretty good, dude. They're going to build Eververse into this game. But that's why uh, we were tricked, and this is what happened. They already had all the assets ready to go. They had all the characters. They had all the skins. They were already rigged. The animations were good to go. So, as they say, Project A was the original game Antigar and I set out to build. The Eververse was born from the foundational NFT tech we built initially for Project A. Not knowing if we would ultimately secure funding for Project A, we launched Eververse first arrivals to see if there was market demand for NFT-based gaming. So they had the NFTs from Overpowered. They launched them, which is fine, right? Fuck it, you know what I mean? That's, that's fine. They launched them. They got $2 million, whatever it was. Then they took that revenue from the, the Eververse first arrivals. And they reinvested it. They created uh, the Battlebound team. They hired people, you know, stuff like that. But really, Project A was the passion all along. And that's cool, right? That's fine. Hey, do what you do, right? You're, you're not beholden to anyone, really. You could, you should do what you want to do. That's all good. Where we stand now is. They, the uh, the players, all the community. I, here's another thing, too. Why did they have to do it like this, bro? You could have softened this up. They even said, too, that they consulted with uh, top holders. I'm the third largest holder in Eververse, so I didn't get consulted with. And, you know, who the fuck am I anyway? You don't have to consult with me, but I'm just saying. I'm pretty vocal on the game. I'm the third largest holder. Who'd you consult with? And, and, and if somebody did get consulted with, please share it in the Discord. I haven't had one player say yeah they came to me you know i'm the the fifth highest holder or whatever and i was like yeah it is a great idea yeah i don't know i don't know who they consulted with but the abruptness and the harshness that this announcement i mean they tore the community down with this announcement why would you do that if you're gonna pivot to a new game that's totally cool and respectable and good but let's do it in a way where we show the community that they're gonna be first and lead with that statement, you know? Lead with that statement where, look, they, they put the TR, TLDR down here, and they tell, that the, they tell the first arrivals, the, all the first arrival holders that gave them the 2.2 mil, 90K for me, will all be given early playtest access to Project A. Priority minting, so we can give them even more money. We'll have front row seats to give them even more money. How about that? That's ridiculous. And the ability to increase the rarity of Project A mints. So likely what will happen is we'll burn our avatars. And according to the prestige, will give us a better mint. But what the fuck? You just rugged everybody. And you're saying, don't worry. Your investment went to zero. But we'll give you guys front row to give us even more money. You'll be the first in line. To give us more money that's insulting dude don't say that what are you doing why are you crushing the community and then the, they say the players will be given an option to exchange their stake in eververse for project a now that's good that should have been you know front and center but just the players so what this is probably going to be is everyone who has badges you'll be able to port your badges from eververse and get an equal stake in the project a token because they're coming out with a battlebound token right here so the eva token will transition to in a game agnostic token that can support any of our games with product market fit so they're going to come out with a battlebound token and anyone who has badges presumably will be able to exchange those badges from eververse to project a good very good right very good Eververse will remain playable with smaller scale updates and events. Make this higher too. Yo, we're not killing the game. We're just moving on. Putting more resources into Project A. Tell everybody, yo, we're, we're going to do you right. Whatever, whatever. Then go into your whole thing about 
this was our vision you know yada 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 we came from triple a and all this stuff then give us your backstory lead with comfort for the players for the community why are you going to rip down three thousand people and just destroy everything that you built for the last two years for what why would you take that approach now, obviously i'm sure you probably didn't think that that was the approach you were taking but that's what happened that's exactly how this reads you need to lead with the good stuff you know don't don't uh, i tell my wife this you know this is something i learned give somebody a compliment lead with a compliment first that's good for starting a conversation lead with a compliment give the good thing first so here's the here's the good thing i mean here's the good thing eververse players will be given an option to exchange their badges you know it says their stake uh, from eververse to project a that's good and uh, then first arrivals will be given early playtest access and a front row seat to prayer to give them more money i mean that's bad that's not good that's not good this shouldn't have been worded like this that's all you're going to give the first arrivals who invested what about the people that what about the people that have the turn i mean dude you could all you could make this right they could make this right and they should have thought this first this should have been the plan this should have been the leading statement you know the f there's first arrivals there's turtles there's hoverboards there's wonderland collection there's evolute there's purdles right there's six collections am i missing any more you should have said yo if you, you they, what they should do right what they should do is build out a chart they should build out a chart and say for every one first arrival it's worth this much in project a for every one turtle it's worth this much in project a for every one hoverboard you got it's worth this much in project a for every one wonderland item you got it's worth this much for every one evolute it's worth, for every one turtle etc etc for every one single asset weight them first arrivals would be the most important turtles hoverboards wonderland evolute or no turtles then evolute probably in that order whatever come out with this option to give the players back that's what you got to do you got to plan that out first you got to tell the community it's gonna be all right don't go it's cool dog it's cool and here's why it's cool right you don't just shock the community and then hit them with don't worry you'll be able to play our new game first and you'll have priority minting dude dude that's not going so well is it look at the look at the chat that's not going so well did you think that was going to go so well that's not good people don't want that ah oh, that sucks all right well i mean so we'll go to the comments cj says asking for more money again ha 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 gerald says it was a tremendous this team showed that it does not have what it takes to be successful i mean but see that's that's the thing it's not necessarily over that's that's the thing you can say hopium copium and maybe it is but it's not over the presentation is wrong coming from the battlebound team they presented it poorly but if you can get through all the stuff the bottom line is that it's not over as long as they do right by the community and do right by the holders by giving i don't know why it says the players will be given an equal stake but it says the first arrival holders maybe the first arrival holders what about the turtle holders right if that should have been all spelled out you have to uh, convince everybody. I don't know if they're just like, fuck it. We got 3,000 people in here. Fuck it, right? Throw we're throwing these people away. We're we're going for the we're going for glory. We're trying to onboard millions of players, right? They say that somewhere they're trying to onboard millions of players. Maybe they're like, look, collateral damage. 3,000 people hit the street, beat it, and we're going for three mil. The problem with that is this whole freaking black cloud that's now over their head like you got the brand ambassador that dumped on the community two weeks before you announced the pivot <laughs> what the fuck i mean what what the hell that's crazy and now you got the community like going crazy that everybody's like sad and distraught and like what in the hell when of course you knew that was going to be the uh the response right so frame this announcement in such a way 
to address that response right off the bat. Comfort everybody. Let everybody know, yo, we're moving to this project. But all you dudes, we got you. And here's how. You're not going to lose shit. Eververse might go down in price, but all your stuff is going to get traded to Project A, so it's all good. Now, they do say this uh, right here, which is which is the, the hope. Okay, Gerald says, uh, open your Discord. Yeah, I'll open my Discord so people can talk. So if you're not in my Discord, join the Discord. And, but just let me read this, because this is the the hope and this is this should have been front and center you know this should have been in bold it should have been at the top give us the this should have been in the tldr instead of saying hey first arrival holders you're gonna get you're gonna get to give us more money so here we go here is the light at the end of the tunnel despite this we remain committed to the eververse first arrival holders and our community we will create a path from Eververse to Project A, where every contributor to the Eververse ecosystem, from players to holders, will have the option to exchange their stake in Eververse for Project A. And that's it. Be more specific on this. You could have won the day. You could have won the community. It could have been great and gravy. Everybody would have been cheering you. Some people would have been sad. But you would have comboed this statement with the fact that Eververse will remain playable. We're keeping it open. This is the point. This is it. This is what the community wants to hear. That's one of the biggest things, you know, out of touch with the community, the marketing. The game didn't fail because the game sucked. Yeah, the game had some bugs and stuff and, and we needed some more stuff, but the game failed because nobody knew about the game. Nobody knew about the game. There was no marketing. There was no nothing. Where's the marketing? Every, if you've been in this game Eververse since like the beginning like I was I came in like August 2021 That's been a, a thing everyone's been saying market no one knows about the game tell everybody about the game And then it's always been when they release the token when we release this when we do that We're gonna start a huge marketing push right it was always when we do step a we're gonna do marketing But step a never came And now you're saying well, we did everything we could well there's one huge issue and that was marketing the game but this is it right here right here y'all this should this should be more specific we will create a path from eververse to project a where every contributor to the eververse ecosystem from players to holders will have the option to exchange their stake in eververse for project a shout that from the rooftops make that the leading statement let everybody know and then also take a little time and try to figure out how you're gonna compensate everybody. Say, look, list all the NFTs, you know, the first arrivals, the, the turtles, if you hold anything, you know, don't worry, we got your back type of thing. Money though, you know, it's all about money. Okay, uh, it's not over, Cappy says. That should be the takeaway for today. 100% right, Cappy, that is the takeaway for today. It's not over, but the delivery of this message makes it seem like it's over, right? Everybody's fucking pissed. Ah, yes, the delivery makes it seem like it's over, but it's not. This is the main takeaway, this highlighted text right here. If you're going to create a path, give us a little more info. Spend a little more thought and time on this. If you care about the community, right? But how can they, right? I'm not 100% sure now because how are they going to make all this money, right? They have investors giving them money they want to return. So are they going to be able to take it on the chin and be like, all right, we're going to lose a little bit less money so that we can... Uh, make whole these 2800 people that believed in us and kickstarted our project you know there was 2800 people 2875 people excuse me i don't want to cut anybody out because every single person counts there was 2875 people that bought into this project when they were not known kickstarted them funded them gave them 2.2 million dollars or whatever it was allowed them to start this path allow them to create the studio and start down this path all they have to do is keep those people straight the people that were playing the game the people that supported it and everyone will back them on the pivot to the new game so why wasn't that you know that needs to be uh front and center save the community a huge lacking of the team from day one a huge lacking from the team community management and i'm not throwing any individual blame out here 
But community management, the pulse of the community, not here. It's not here. And I know everybody's busy and everybody's got shit to do, but nobody has the pulse on the community. Nobody's really in touch with the community. All right, we're going to open up this Discord. Let's go through these uh, chats real quick. Everybody will be able to talk in the Discord if they want. Overpower was taken down. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me, let me start it up. There's a voice chat in here, right? Voice channels. How do I do this? Stream. All right, just come in here. Voice channels. Come into the uh, Vitrio Discord. If you don't know how to get here, just go to the Battlebound thing. And I'm in here. And you can look up my name. Click on my name and you'll see my Discord link. You can join. Open for everybody. All right. So then come in here to the Vitrio Discord. Looks like EC came. He's a developer. That's good. Let's talk. Come into the stream chat. All right, what's up? What's up? We are live on stream. Everybody come in here. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn the music off so everybody can talk. And I'm going to turn this desktop volume up so everybody will be on the same volume as me. Okay. So here we go. Come in here. If we, if we get EC in here, that would be great. He's a part of the team, so he'll be able to give us some perspective. I'll read the comments and let people give people more time to get in here. I don't see Gerald. All right. So open your room. So, so that people can talk. Yep. Discord is open. Come on in in the stream channel. Overpowered was taken down from YouTube. I tried searching for a few days ago. Nada. Uh, here it is right here. Yeah. I, I kept it up just in case, right? I don't know why they would delete it, but here it is right here. And I didn't show this, you know, out of respect for Deimos and the team. I, I found this on my own, and then I went to uh, Deimos. And I was, I actually, no, I made a video. I made a video, and then I was thinking, like, oh, shit. Should I release this? I, I asked my wife, right? I was like, should I release this? And she was like, I don't know. Just check with Deimos. So I went with Deimos, like, hey, here's the video. Should I release this? And he was like, eh, I'm not sure. Let me check with Anagar. You know, I don't know how the community res would respond. So I never, I never heard back from Deimos or Anagar. I just deleted the video. I actually, I posted it private on uh, YouTube so Deimos and Anagar could view it. But I never posted it. I never told anyone about it. People started to figure out, but it was never through me. I never spilled the beans on this. But here we go now. Who cares, right? It doesn't matter. Here's all the avatars you can see. So they had this game. And this game was fucking awesome. This game was good. It was a MOBA arena battler, and it was freaking great. I liked it. It looked freaking cool. But you know what one of the problems with this game was? Couldn't build a community. They couldn't build the community. They couldn't gather the players. Again, you know, that's the issue that we're having with Eververse. So it's not the game. This game was fucking good. They had classes. They had abilities and shit. You know, it was a cool game, dude. It was a really cool game. I liked it. I was impressed. All right, what's going on with, uh, are we getting EC in this, in this chat here? All right, let's go. Come on in the chat. Let's go, EC. All right, let's read these comments, and then we'll go. Uh, last year's momentum was very strong, but the team never capitalized on it. Yeah, I said that too. You know, last year's momentum, super strong. We had players up. But right, they didn't get, you know, they didn't ride that wave and push that wave further. It same thing happened the last two months this year with the Coinbase thing, but it was never pushed any further. They never did anything about it. It's like they built this to fail. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of the thing. They did kind of, in a way, this was just a placeholder. But they could have did it a lot better. They could have pushed this out a little more. And if they were going to pivot, you know, maybe sooner or later, <laughs> I don't know. I guess, right, you can never have perfect timing. But can you hear us? No. Can you guys hear? Is everybody muted? Maybe you're all muted. You guys talking in here? Can you guys hear me through the stream? I can't hear anybody. Check your check your mutes. You guys are muted. Oh, you know what you have to do? You have to allow Discord to use your mic. Mic doesn't work for me? Is it enabled down here? Voice connected. Are you voice connected? Oh, Crisnal. Crisnal, let's hear it. Let's hear it, buddy.
Voice connected. Oh, you got bad stream now? Or you got bad, uh... It says voice connected, though. All right, let's just try general, then. Let's try the one below it, general. Confirm. All right, we're in general. You guys talk now? Damn. Damn. All right, so maybe we'll just go to Battle Bounds. Let's go to Battle Bounds. They got one, right? Turtle Talk. Go. Turtle Talk, y'all. Turtle Talk. Y'all know what it is. Get into Turtle Talk. It's time for a Turtle Talk. All right, let's hear it. I'm waiting for, waiting for somebody's sweet voice. Oh, I hear Cappy. Here's some hey. Stuff. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. What's up? What's up? Thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for holding the Twitch um, on this um, bad day. Complicated day, I would say. Yes. <laughs> um. I'm still, um, I'm still thinking that um, the goal of reaching um, Project A ain't a bad one. Um, but I no? don't understand why so many people are um, unhappy with the situation. Unhappy is an understatement, my friend. We all got <laughs> duped, misled for our entire fucking year. People have lost hundreds of thousands trusting these guys, and in the end, we just got shafted, which is unimaginable. It, it's if you read my comments, it's it's as if they built this to to fail from from day one. They used the skins from Overpowered, for which they could show huge, quote-unquote, huge results quickly, get the DGEMs in, i.e. us, get some 3 million funding, sweet dollars, before running to the VC, daddy. This is exactly what they've done to us. And, Jason, what you mentioned regarding the... Uh, the announcement, it, it, it's also vague as fuck. Uh, the stuff that should be bolded and frontline is not there. It's, there's simply not enough information for, for people to feel comfortable holding this asset. Not enough information to, to, to feel safe. Because after, what, like, it's been almost like two years, one and a half, something plus? This is a fucking shit fest. It's unbelievable what they're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, everything like, you're on what, point. What have we, like, as as a community, as as holders, what have we done to deserve such behavior from them? I mean, like, I, I I've spoken to to Adam a couple of times, and he never seemed to be this kind of person. Kurzawa, on the other hand, I saw him dumping, I saw shit in in uh, in the background, I saw him DJing, I went le mal, you know, laughing my fucking ass off. You know, inside, 3 million pages, fan page, my ass, 5 people viewing his DJ streams, nobody gave a flying fuck about what he was doing. And he was sitting there collecting a million paychecks. Susie, same thing. I don't know what the fuck she's doing here. But if these guys can do the right thing, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's really, really emotional for a lot of us, and Jason, for yourself, I truly believe so. Because... I think I saw you posted that you're, you're like 90k plus deep in this, and that's fucking major because you truly believed in this product. And in the end, we all got shafted together. Yeah, Which yeah, is, 90k. Yeah, yeah, and look, we all take that risk, you know. But yeah, you're right. I mean, you're pretty much spot on with everything you're saying. And the the bottom line, really, the what can save all this, even though they did so much damage. That's what I'm saying. Why go like this? You could have did this from the beginning instead of causing all this damage, and now you gotta 
regroup everybody but you could have just simply said you're going to give everybody one for one or you know every asset you hold and eva is going to transport it to project a and this would have been went over a way smoother oh i have okay for for second just message me jason i'm gonna send you uh, i'm gonna send you a message over in your discord okay in the general for the overpowered video okay Click on it, please, inside your Discord, and that's where the, uh, I don't know how, how it got over there, but this is how we basically got duped. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know. The information yep. from it. Yeah, yeah, this overpower, yeah, I guess I'll play it, yeah, this, yeah, I've known about this. Yeah. Definitely inspired you to put this more effort into the This is where the character models come from. The uh, which, which comments are you uh, and Males and, and whatnot. Yeah, and all and, they and, did, right? They just pulled these into into Eververse, whatever the fuck Eververse back was back then, and basically sold us. Well, let me full, full screen it. But yeah, this is it. This is overpower. And look again, you know, it's not the worst because look, they had a they had a project overpower. They wanted to port it to NFTs. They did just that. Um. And now, even if they want to move the Project A, you know, fine. Just don't shit on everybody that helped you get here on yeah. your path. You know, they should... Yeah. If, if they came out and said, yo, we got you all... Yeah. Should have been a, a you lot. live? Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're live. We're live. What up, Wank? Well, I'm on... Yeah. I'm, what's up? I'm on your YouTube. I can't see it. Oh, it's on Twitch. Live on Twitch. Oh, God. All right, let's hear your thoughts, Wank. My thoughts? <laughs> Fuck, I'm just gonna hodl and there's no one, there's no buyer. Yep. There's no point selling it for 20 mm. bucks either. Nope. No point selling no. it. No. Yeah. There, there was a buyer two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, one chorus of them. That's, <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's fucked up. I feel bad for Abel. Buying that he his way into into I don't know what the fuck he's doing, man. But he everybody duped us basically. Like if you go over the holders chat, gulag is an understatement for what we've been through and what we're taking and 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 I don't know, man. These guys simply. Uh, it just seems that they don't give a flying fucking shit about, about us, about our investments, even though we helped them start up. And if, even if they try to do this project, they, whatever the fuck they want to do, right? The whole community is going to be onto them. Maybe In project day opinion, does well. It, it will get cock blocked by each and every one of us because they lost, because they lost our trust. That's yeah. That's one Dude. of the biggest issues. Why would they do it like this? There's a much smoother, way to do this than to just pull the rug out from everybody and then say hey but don't worry you'll have yeah. priority mint <laughs> definitely not which which, which means that they want more money from us basically because obviously the project take uh, whatever is not going to be a 10k collection it's not going to be one-to-one -one from eververse over to that so it's probably going to be looking like 20k plus Plus second arrivals, God knows what the fuck these guys are going to be trying and doing. But my point is that they're going to try and get more funds in via minting or whatever. Because, see, put yourself in, in, in VC shoes, right? Yep. VC, whatever they're do, do, doing any kind of uh, potential customer um, research, they're going to go on to the Discord and see what the hell is going on. And they're going to see all of us literally... People are literally crying on, on the keyboards. This yep. is, like, I've been in, in, in NFTs for almost two years now, right? I've seen a lot of crazy shit happening. And this is certainly in the top three shit that I've seen across the two years. Like, literally. Yeah. I, literally. I, I've lost 50 Ethereum. I've earned 500 Ethereum. I'm, this is just unimaginable. This shouldn't be happening. People should be held accountable for this. Because we were used to fund their playground and funded uh, Kuros as DJing. <laughs> I mean, what the well, fuck? 
I don't understand why they did not speak to any big holder uh, what they said they will do. But in the end, it, looked, it seemed like they just didn't consult with anyone from the community. They didn't speak to anybody. No, I've Old spoken. One. Yeah, Chris, you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. I've spoken to 10 people, all of them, myself included, who I know they have 50 plus. Nobody spoken to us. Nobody told us like comes down. nobody's comes hand down. held us or comes down to a 16 z well they said they did though they said they did and that's what i'm curious you know i'm i'm number three so i wonder who who they talked to well, I think muck the... muck and Ray's, i think we're talking with demos quite a bit but i i think there's more people like maybe flip drago trip trip guild he's pretty big yeah. i don't know well i don't think that they <laughs> if demos spoke to them i don't think that they were on board with that <laughs> so it's one thing to speak to the people and the other thing to take their opinion and you know consider these opinions in your own decision i mean you don't need to speak to holders just to speak to holders but already know what you do before speaking to them you know like this also doesn't make sense well it's clear that eververse was a stepping stone to project a right eververse was the fundraiser the kickstarter to start up Battlebound, to fund the devs, to you know, pay their bills, to get everything rolling, to get investment. And that's okay, but take us with you. That's my biggest gripe. Take all of us, the 3,000 people, the players, the, dude, the investors, take us with you. Don't ask us for more money. Just say, yo, your guys' investment, we're going we're gonna to move that over in the Project A. Very simple. Now, there might be some hurdles with that where, okay, well, how do they make money? How do their VCs make money? So there might be some hurdles with that. And, you know, all that has to be figured out. But that's, that's the biggest thing from my perspective. All this could have I been think, and can be smoothed over with that right there. I think as Victor uh, said, like, um, if they would do like a one-to-one -one airdrop or whatever exchange of first arrivals to Project A, then this would either mean that we have a 20 or 30k collection, or that you maybe have max like two to one or three to one first survival to Project A. So in one way or the other, they will not do a 10k collection and give every first survival holder, like for every first survival one Project A, that's not going to happen. So even if they would switch over to Project A, I don't on, uh, yeah, you're not going to get really, really see it not being, not being devalued in one way or the other, but I mean, it's probably not the, not the topic right now. Yeah, you're not going to get a 100% value return, but at least you'll get something. You'll still be on the ship. You'll still be on a train. The community would still stay together for the most part. And they could have put that extra boost in there, which they already have. We're saying, hey, look, we're going to give you a one-to-one, -one, but it might be a 20K collection or something. So the value will be decreased a little bit. But on the flip side, we're going to let you burn a first arrival. And depending on the prestige of that first arrival, it's going to give you a boost in rarity. Yeah, I would like that. I would like to be able to burn everything into Project A. But I don't know about the turtles and hoverboard. Like... Well, they would have to do it with everything. I mean, because people, you got turtle collectors, right? Like uh, Anton was saying, people that just collect turtles. You got people that are into the hoverboards, right? You know, you got people that are into the Wonderland. You got people that are into the Evolute. So it would have to be a table that lists the value of each collectible, starting with the first arrivals, the most, they give you the most points towards the Project A system. Then the turtles are next, then the hoverboards. You know, then the Purtles, or maybe the, the Wonderland, then the Purtles, then the Evolute, something like that. And each one asset that you have in each one of these categories gives you a certain allocation in the next project. In the announcement, it says we will create a path from Eververse to Project A. Yep. yep. Where every contributor. But Eververse was supposed to be the center of Battlebound, is what we were told. Exactly supposed to be the metaverse for where everything else was supposed to incorporate it in like project a uh protos turtles whatever uh clearly, clearly everything. eververse didn't work i mean 
the engagement was poo poo. They they did the engagement beside themselves. They never promoted it. Never done anything apart from Kurazav DJing. I mean, what the, f you know, <laughs> what's going on? For me, I don't know if it would have been better with a token. Maybe it would have just gone extracted. If we followed the, the meta and uh, released a token when tokens got released, left, yeah. right, and center. Where every 90s, 80s, 70s, um, one and a half D game was being released, everything shot up. But we could have rolled that meta, and of course, we didn't because we never write any meta by design. It looks to me that, that everything that they've done, it's not that they haven't known how to do, it's more of a they didn't want to do it. Yeah, they might did not want to have. Eververse being successful because then they would have to be committed to that project and right now they can kind of you know give it as a failure and move on to project a and if ever imagine Eververse would have been like one east floor now and would be super hyped for whatever reason how do we get out of that if you actually want to build project a i mean i don't want to i don't want to say that but no, like I, I, I don't want. I, I give them the benefit of the doubt that they didn't do it on purpose. I don't think that they rocked no. us on purpose. No, but I, mean, like, I, I, you know, they want that success. Yeah, yeah, like they, they'd want that success for Eververse, regardless. You know, uh, because like if Eververse is successful, you then got everyone looking at Project A like. Exactly. Okay, they done really well with their exactly. first game. They're gonna do exactly. really well with their second game too. They're gonna make more exactly. money. Exactly. Let Let's go. Let's jump. Like, let's buy, 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 buy. Yeah. Next like, people are coming. Like to me, it, like in my opinion, it, I feel like they just took on more than you know they had to at the time, and they focused on the wrong things, and that's where Definitely. we got to where we are now. Yeah, but that's just might, my opinion. I'd be a stupid idea for. <laughs> To, to let a project die to make another project more <laughs> successful that's probably not that it, it was, it's just so weird because i think like all this like obviously like now in hindsight like it's half a year like people are basically saying ah oh, do this do this do marketing do guild system fix the exactly. servers and all that stuff and nothing happened nothing like i mean nothing is maybe not correct but not much of that happened you're and safe to say nothing because nothing happened i think it's, it would have been not impossible to turn the ever ship around, but I think the Coinbase event and then being two weeks off over Christmas was kind of the red flag. And I think at that point, they already knew that they were yeah. not continuing ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Sure. Yep. I would say so, yeah. It, it, it's still just crazy to me that that announcement was dropped because like, that's just like a nail in a coffin. You know, that there is no coming back from this announcement the way they done it. Yeah, it's not like they can work on anything now. It's like you know they've sentenced Eververse to death for at least you know the next year or two until Project A comes out. And even then, if Project A is a failure, the Eververse is gone anyway. It's it's like they could have done so much more, so differently. Not not even like over the past year, but just the past week or so. And this announcement definitely wasn't it. It's, I mean, you know, like yesterday night when I saw Demo writing in the announcement channel, I was actually hyped. I was like, okay, let's go. Like, he will come up with some awesome news and like they understood and they will make it, I don't know, you know, uh, more Web3 friendly, whatever it is. Like, I really thought like, okay, now finally we have the announcement and then he posted it and deleted it. And I was like, okay, I didn't, you know, let me see it. And then I read the announcement and I really did not expect that at all. <laughs> it felt like completely out of the blue and I actually was hyped because I thought, okay, finally this Gulag mode is over and, you know, like, back to normal. Oh, and does not get out of Gulag so easily. Yeah, but that, that was Gulag just beginning. Uh, that's what I announced yeah. created. Uh, yeah, I thought this was like the peak, the peak Gulag was like a few days ago. I was like, okay, wait for the announcement. <laughs> Thursday night, Friday night, AMA oh. next week, some exciting stuff, let's go. And it turned out to be like, complete opposite and everything we had the last few weeks was basically just a foreplay for what we have right now uh, yeah. i would i really had, would have never ever imagined that this is gonna happen uh i can under, like i said yesterday already i can somehow understand the business decision to be honest uh 
Oh, you yeah, know, I, I understand it too. Like, it, it was obvious that, you know, as a game, it just, you know, it wasn't doing well. I mean, if you are a demo, you have as their own fault. resources and people and limited resources and money. That's their own fault, guys. Come on. Don't, don't go into the meta and don't 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 start thinking that, that we're in the wrong here. We're not oh, in no, the wrong. We're, no, we're, we're definitely not in the yeah, wrong. Yeah. Like, well, right, 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 go, wrong. Go, go, uh, go, go, go for uh, it, then. Uh, like, I, I, I'm just saying I understand where they're coming from as a company. Um. I'm not saying that, you know, it's it wasn't their own way, actions that brought us there. Yeah, I mean, their own actions brought them there. But I can see yeah. why they went this route. But this route is the worst fucking route. Yeah, but come on. Like, like seriously, like 20 of them sitting uh, at their desks and, and looking at the fucking cats and thinking to themselves, cats running around. Oh, that's going to bring millions of people. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> You know, like, what the hell was were they thinking about when they started developing that? Why didn't they go to, to the uh, shooter mode, to the gun study, whatever? Like, I honestly did this. This went so wrong so so quickly, but it took so long. It's, it's dragged out for a year. We were left in the dark for a year. Like, all of us, whoever invested, we were always given the care on, on, on a stick, and and kind of said, look, we're gonna do this when we do this. We're gonna do that when we do that. Then Here. fuck all altogether. Tell you what, I think you gotta look at the player base in the Web two space, like uh, TFT, like Auto Battlers. There's millions of players there, but is there millions of players in hoverboard racing games and and cat racing games? No. No. Well, it, the shooter could have competed with uh, Fortnite. There's there's yeah. millions of players yeah. and shooters. Yeah. Awesome, NFT gun skins to just create, create uh, Counter Strike skins and stuff like that. You know, you know where where I'm going with this. Like it could have been so popular, especially in Web three, because at the time when these guys had a fully working game, nobody else had anything. Yep. So we could have blown. This could have been such a success if they were, didn't fuck everything up. Two things that when you look at the uh, Cosmic Cup and Hoverboard Racing. I actually doubt, like, not that they could not do it, but maybe because of resources, whatever it is, I doubt that they would have released a competitive shooter compared to other Web3 games in, in Unreal Engine, which are focusing only on shooter. And now, like, Eververse having, you know, hoverboard racing and then, like, a kind of a side game inside of Eververse, a shooter. I don't think that this would be... In, like, look at how many bucks there were, like, even in a... In a in a quite trivial racing game, like imagine how it would have been in a shooter. Like I don't know if that would have worked well. Like not with the resources and in the time well, frame which were expected. You know. Did you look at EV.io like the shooter that people are still playing it, it and it's garbage in my opinion. I mean, yeah. even aside from that, it's like you know. Eververse was originally supposed to be like you know competitive on ramp. You know, it's supposed to have like ranked modes and whatnot. It's like, yeah. even if it was just hoverboard racing, like, if they had some resources dedicated more towards the ranked aspect side of things, more towards like, the competitive side of things, like, we had wars between guilds, right? Like, guild wars. And it's like, we, could, we didn't get a private server for that. We couldn't even have a tournament between the different teams. And, you know, we saw that in Overpowers, they had a ranked system. Like, they had these resources, they had these type of things where they could have, you know, built this competitive on rep earlier rather than you know kittens for example and yeah. it's just it's just another example of you know the players wanted one thing and i felt like they just went with what they thought was better for more money it could be true and one of the things could also be that they've been working on project a from the very beginning they never stopped that is true so all those features never came to eververse because the development hours were spent developing project a Project A looks like Illuvium to me, or sounds like it a lot, and that's probably our way out of this. You know, I mean, Illuvium I takes off and we, we take off as sympathy, and it works. But it's like, just looking at the concept art for, uh, or like, you know, in the newsletters for Project A, like the art that they're using, it's like, I'm not seeing any Eververse resources there. It, yeah. it just feels like, you know, they've completely abandoned Eververse as a product. I mean, it's a cool style, you know? I think it's like Tony Tang. It's like that style that he draws where 
And then you look at the little characters, you could tell like the little fox is lightning and then oh, the don't, don't get me wrong, I do love the art. I love the assets of Project A. I'm just, you know, saddened that we actually have pretty cool art and design for Eververse and it just yeah, doesn't fit the thematic cool. of what they're showing in the new Project A. Yeah, like yeah. Celestial or Zenith is fucking looks cool. I wanna play yeah. that. Do you guys think that like when did you when do you guys think they made that decision? Did they do it before Christmas, like even before the Coinbase event, or did they before, kind of before, before after, definitely before. after the after the Cosmic Cup launch? Well it was no it was definitely at least two weeks before the announcement. We know that for sure, because that's when Kurz out. Yeah, so that's when, you know, he knew that things was, were switching, and that's when he was like, all right, I got to bounce. Uh, I, I'm not, like, um, to be honest, like, I, I think, like, he should have never been, should have never sold as a brand ambassador. It's not, not acceptable. On the other hand, I'm not sure if he, if he dumped because he really just formed into something else, or if he really dumped because, because he has 11 left. Why wouldn't he have done like more than and just three? And you know, like I think I'm not sure if he dumped because he was like, oh shit, okay, uh, shit gonna go down, so I just dump all my stuff. I think he, I mean, it's not it's not an excuse and it's, it doesn't make it better, but I don't think that he dumped it because kind of like he knew what's what's going on. I can see, I can see him also just. I mean, it's stupid as well, but like. Uh, setting because he fomoed and he had nothing else than his Evers. Maybe he just again, maybe he just wanted to get his initial investment back and he was like, look, I'll just sell these few for the floor. I'll I mean it's it. not, not acceptable at all to sell. Like don't get me wrong. I think as a brand ambassador and then afterwards coming in and saying that's out of the question. So literally each and every one of us here agrees that he shouldn't be having doing the role that, that he has. You can't that's it's awesome. not I mean you know. That's out of the question. I'm just saying, I, yeah. I also would give him still the benefit of a doubt that he didn't sell it because he knew what's up and he wanted to get out and jump the boat. I think he was just stupid and he just didn't really care about the the, the, the project enough. Uh, maybe. Right. I mean, yeah. that, that's 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 on him. I don't know, but I don't think that he done to make you know a quick like to jump the boat. Sorry. He's the brand you, ambassador. You are Good point. Uh, good day, bros. I'm Smoka from Tech. Hey, Tech Smoka. Hey, what's up, man? Let's hey. and see, bros. I, 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 honestly, because I and our uh, players or members of Tech, they, they loved, and we still love uh, Eververse. Uh, the idea uh, behind it to create a metaverse is really good. Um, yeah, wrong focus indeed. In many, many aspects. Um, yeah, I, I can set. Set aside that Kuzo, uh, Kura, uh, Kurazov uh, did dumb um, intentionally beforehand. I, I, I can say that aside, but what the developers did is, I don't think this is over near, bros, because let's be facing it. They want to transition to another game, but they really didn't know the approach how to do it. They have no hard numbers, no, no uh, things, and they did announce it really wrong. I do not think this will be the end of Battlebound nor of our investments in and time in the Eververse. I only think they um, may be a little um, hectic and, and chaotic, but yeah, the announcement gives uh, a feeling indeed that they indeed uh, main, mainly focus was on Project A. Yeah. I have the same feeling. Yeah, and that's that's what we all need to do. We all need to have that positive outlook. And from mm -hmm. the team, Damo's perspective, he should be thinking about that before he presents this announcement and how he's going to keep the community strong. Now, that announcement didn't hit the yeah. mark at all to keep everybody strong. It freaking no, blew everybody not, apart. No. That's true. Yeah. Hey, yeah. By the way, I just want to, yeah. maybe just one last thing from my side, and then I just stop talking all the time. Sorry, guys. I just want to give one big uh, appreciation shout out to you, uh, Bitrio. I think like you are a fucking beast grinding for like one year doing basically all the work. Kua, Kua and Susie mm. should have all these YouTube videos, onboarding people, writing Twitter and all that shit. Uh, yeah, bro, Jason's been here since the beginning. He has been putting in work. You are fucking, yep. you're fucking legends, uh, and I think you should like if there's if you want to stay in the project, I think, and you would want to, of course. 
I mean, you should, and, and you can speak well, like, you know, like you can create excitement and hype with people. Uh, I think you would have been like... If we had Bichu representing us instead of Kurazov, this would have been a complete different project. Totally, time, totally, yeah. Yeah. At the time yeah. when they were doing the AMAs, and and because I'm pretty sure, because like we, we we can all see Bitch is pas passionate about uh, this game, mm -hmm. even if it's a shit game full of bugs, he's passionate about it. He's making streams about it. If only he was in there from 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 day one, at least at the same time when Kuroza started, this would have been a whole whole complete different game. And now even if Adam uh, and the team want to move on to Project A. Eververse would have been so much more successful, which would have improved their entire in, entire image in, yeah. in, in the NFT um, Web3 gaming space, and they would literally they, they could literally become the next Yuga when it comes to gaming. Up, up there with where Illuvium is right now. Maybe not Illuvium, but a couple of steps lower. But certainly wouldn't be in the dark where we are all at the moment, which is which is you know, heartbreaking for all of us. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but Jason, uh, he he presented really well. He stays calm and and yeah, he still has faith and and you can see the passion. Uh, I do believe that you're right about that. Indeed, and yeah, I want to say uh, thank you to Jason as well to yeah just stay calm and and indeed speak really well and still not kind of give up on 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 everything. But yeah, it, it, it's a disaster. No one can deny that. I think I think if they have any chance to hire you, <laughs> even as a consultant from the holder side, I think uh, I mean there are a lot of other people in the community as well, but. Wanted because I'm not sure how many ever streams you're gonna do, but and how long you want to be, uh, but uh, in, in the in the community. But just want to say, I really enjoyed you know working and listening to your your streams in the background, and I had to laugh a lot of times. Like you know, uh, you, you are like really entertaining <laughs> with your foil head sometimes. So it's, it was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you all thank you yeah yeah that might be the issue though right because i am a little wild on things so they might not like that to bring that into the game but although i can also be professional as well i do have a professional job where i you know don't bring in this wild stuff but my videos you know i just be myself oh, first, don't 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 get it wrong it's like very like you know uh didn't want to sound like this is a, like do you know how to dj maybe there's an opening <laughs> 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 now i actually did talk to deimos about it way back maybe it was uh i don't know a few months ago or so about possibly working with the team so you never know and yeah i do think that's a big thing lacking there's no connection with the community there's no pulse on yeah. the community and what the players want it's uh it's, there's no conduit between the players and the the developers it's just uh we're developers and the players are just mingling amongst themselves why aren't the Eververse creating tons of videos, you know, about anything? Battlebound, Eververse, Project A, whatever. Make videos. Where's the content? Why is this lonely dude, me, creating follow, way more content than the team? Follow what every other project is doing. Follow what every other project is doing. Even if you fail, you're going to learn. You're going to learn from that. You're going to do a better job. Anything is better than staying in the dark like we are now for two years. You yeah. Know? It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. really, really, you know... Borderline retarded. What the execution, the yeah. The execution has been, it, it's it's lacking. And again, it's easy to say from an outside, but like, oh, I could do it better. You know, all this type of stuff. But uh, I think a lot of people would agree, most people would agree that, yeah, the execution on Eververse was lacking. Mainly marketing. That has been the biggest gripe between the, the player base from the get-go. Everybody wanted marketing, and we just never saw it. Sadly, yeah. Sadly, we never did. We had the ideal setup, being yeah. a frontliner at a very, very early stage in overall Web3 market. Ideal, we had big holders, we had the community, 
you have people who stuck together through thin and thick, who with all the issues, with all the bugs. We used to get excited about getting announcements from these guys, you know. But nowadays, everything is gone. And to be honest with you guys, I don't want to scare anybody, but, you know, let's be real here. Like, after what they've done right now, even if they come up with Project A, they're going to be stopped by the community. Cause, or, you know, yeah, they, they're, they're going to need new investors. Here. Like, I don't think it'll be any one of us. Exactly. Mm, and it's yeah. not gonna be any one of us, yeah, definitely. They they, they might be I'll able to that. reach a new community. Like the Illuvium's a pretty big community. There's a lot of Pokemon lovers and stuff like that. Well, but it was was uh, clear for a long time that there will be a second uh, VC round. That there's gonna be a need for more money in the system, and so that's not a surprise. And um, it's just about how you keep the holders worth um, in the game for, for future buildings. And um, I'm not 100% sure how this, this pivot is going to take place, but um, you can do, still do it right. The communication was, um, uh, well, <laughs> could have been better, but still you can, you can make the... Uh, transition from from Eververse to um, the Project A in a way that uh, the community will appreciate and and um, see a, a value in. Um, I agree. Yeah, they have to fix that announcement and and keep indeed supportive and say, guys, we know this is not working. We we need to transition to a game. I know it's not likely, but we we got you. We got you, guys. We we see that we invested a lot of time, funds, and launched the tokens, and get trust back in the community. So so you don't have this. But yeah, I mean. If they have the, I'm, I'm sorry if I if I'm sound like Susie, but uh, if you look at the blog post, it ain't that bad as the announcement. Um, you can you can read it in in two ways, um, and I'm not sure which which they will take, but uh, you can mm -hmm. see our uh, Evas as uh, a mint pass, which was uh, would be quite um, frankly horrific for me. Um, or you could mm -hmm. see them as a, as a um, valuable. Um, exchangeable um asset which you can use in a in a like a genesis um nft way in in the new game so there is a possibility yeah. to do it right um i think I, yeah. I think the problem is that there are no numbers you know like that people invest a lot of money and now we know yeah somehow we will switch to where like we will be able to transfer our value to project a okay but you know, when you have an announcement like that, I think it's very tough to not give concrete answers like, okay, you will get one first, like one project A for one first arrival or whatever, like, you know, like Jason mm -hmm. said before, like I think coming out with an announcement like this and then for every question, which is actually relevant, which is about the money part, they're like, yeah, actually, we don't know yet. Which is fine. Like, I can understand that there are like a lot of, I mean, it's not fine, but I can understand that there are like a lot of stuff to sort out. Probably they're speaking to VCs. They probably also have like some saying in that, so they can't promise on anything. But I don't know, like, every, like, the blog post was more like an explanation why they switched to Project A, but not like, okay, so what's up? How many Project A do I get? Like, how many, we don't even know how many assets there will be in Project A. So we don't even know. If a one like it could be hundred thousand, and it's a free mint, and not like it's worth nothing, you know, like uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, it, it could be, it could be both one way or the other. We don't know anything about the worth, about the amount, about anything. What will happen then? So that's yeah, the point I'm going to say. You can make it right. You can you can have a very um, high value uh, project A um, asset and get for cheap into it with your with your uh, Eva and everyone is happy if he can mint an uh, um, NFT that is worth uh, one ETH uh, for for just gas. No one of you would complain. Um, I don't know if they w will do that. But uh, it's a I, would go for, yeah, right. I would go for free mint, but I would not pay for another mint. 
And I think nope. I'm talking for when most of them. I was talking about know. gas. No way, no, no. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, they, I know. they make it, right? Or uh, do you do think that no one really going to invest in the new project A? There's no what? trust if you let people ask twice for like one project that's <laughs> that's deadly. No one gonna trust you if you're gonna do that. But yeah, that it seems like it, and that's why people are like like that that um, yeah uh, worried, I guess, about it. Seems they they wish to get more from the old investors, but if they make it right, indeed, the same value, same. Same, um, yeah, ten thousand mints. Everybody, one Eva, uh, is that, and all the side things uh, you get as well, and maybe some additional tokens for all the ex additional um, uh, uh, hoverboards and turtles and pearls and loot. Right, right. They would do it in a token or some other different way that have utility and a value for even the future. That's already good enough but saying you, you yeah you get discount that's that's a joke that's a joke that's like i want more i mean yeah the, the, there's definitely steps that you can take to make it better like one mm. would be you know making it more clear to us you know yeah i, I understand what i said earlier you know it's hard because they probably don't have the numbers themselves but you know we've had assurances you know before about the map whitelist, for example, and how we had mm -hmm. to fight for first arrivals to get more in that because originally they weren't. And it was only after we brought all our concerns to the table that the way the map NFT was going to work was changed. Mm -hmm. And it would just be nice for the entire thing to be highlighted a bit more and how it's actually going to play out instead of reading between the lines of a blog post. Um, yeah. You know, just having concrete information and, you know, just having a return to like, the communication to the community that they had of old because right now how yeah. it's been for the past few months is no way near how they used to talk to us as a community and i think every one of us can see that and back then it was a lot easier to understand yeah. where the devs were coming from because they were talking to us like humans like actual people yeah. rather than just numbers on a board and yeah. since then you know the moment you stop talking to your community like they exist is when everything went downhill Pretty much, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's, that's right. True. They created a divide between the dev team and the community when instead oh, yeah. they should have been focusing on creating a way to bring everyone together. Exactly. I, I, I think in the long term, uh, with, 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 yeah, I think with many bug fixes, and, and I do think years in development and sure funding, uh, what can be accomplished with marketing because the game has a future. The Eververse, if they keep building on the shooter mode and, and more modes, I would, I, 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 I'm hyped about that future because it will be good for player base utility. Because I'm a, and we are players. We build, we want to build a future in a game, and sure, and sometimes it costs money, and later on you get the returns back when it's larger. But I, I did indeed uh, do still. Kind of, I, they're not kind of quitting with Eververse. They're kind of setting it on the side like what I read. So that's maybe why they are not really giving the numbers. Because maybe they don't even want to quit with the Eververse. Maybe they want to uh, um, um, integrate Eververse into the Project A as one of their modes or whatever. We don't really know their ideology about everything what they have in mind. Yeah, I, mean, I guess yeah. I, I just wish they had more communication with us on their concepts before mm -hmm. they were reality. And I understand yeah. it's hard to do yeah. that because you know you don't want people stealing your ideas and nothing's set in stone. But it would be nice to like if they clearly came out and said, you know, this isn't set in stone. This may not happen, but this is what we're thinking right now. Because at least then we can give our input on whether we that's something we think is a good idea or not. Exactly. Exactly. Well, they don't, they don't Once care, again, though. That's one of the biggest issues. They don't issues. care. That, <laughs> that, that's the problem. Ever since, you know, it, in my opinion, since it formed as a company, it's been... Ever since, exactly. Ever since yeah. uh, NPC, exactly. Straight up. So it, it was just a flip of a switch for them, and everything changed since. But from that day forward, it, this is not the same. And what's worse, they didn't made it, make it obvious for us and they kind of dragged us on the ground for 
for almost a year now, which is fucking mental. We, we need to get some help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wish something would change, but, you know, I mean, yeah. at, at this point, you know, we're pretty dead in the water and we're in a very, like, harsh time of uncertainty, at least with our investments in this project. Yeah, they're going to have to balance creating a new game, making money for the VCs, and keeping the community, the 3,000 people that are from Eververse, or not. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a priority. Yeah. It, it, hopefully it is a priority. We never know, but hopefully that's what happens. They allow us, they yeah. give us that stake in Project A, yeah. same stake we had in Eververse, and you know what? Most people will be happy. Yeah. No, I, I will be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, if, if, they, if they came up with a couple of videos, done some like real for real marketing teasers and stuff like that, and just told us, like, you know what I'm trying to say? It doesn't even have to be one to one, it can just be equivalent or better amount of investment in, in Project A, so long as you hold an Eververse, whatever. Mm. None of us here would, would have this chat and nobody would, would be flaming, you know? And this could have been yeah. so so easily accomplished with with the announcement that was made last night. It, it was so easily accomplishable, but I don't know what he's what, what what Adam is thinking about twenty-four hours later. Yeah. We're not, we haven't gotten you know, any any further explanations? No yeah, it's just radio things. silence from the devs. Yeah, which which is you know troublesome. You know what what the hell? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, and I don't think I, I don't think Deimos is malicious. You know, I don't really no, know. No, him. he's not. But you know, but I don't think I honestly don't, don't know. My first impression of the guy was like when I first first heard him talking. I thought he was such a stoner dude. He he completely <laughs> sounded high all the time. Twenty four seven, dude, dude was high, right? Yeah. And I should have gone with, with that instinct. Uh, trusted the guy. I, I still <laughs> trust him, but he fucked up royally. Hopefully, he can get out of uh, 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 all of this. You know. It is his so, first uh, startup. You know, as a CEO, he's. You know. Wasn't he CEO of Hydrant Games too? I don't. Yeah, it so. was. Yeah, no, Prime was. Hydra Games. If you check the Overpower video, um, it says their interview with Adam Hansel, CEO of Hydrant Games. Yeah. So this, this is not his second. first video. Yep. Oh, but, yeah, but Overpower oh. went nowhere. That was just him uh, and Antigar. The same thing as ever. I yeah, think the there's a the big reason was. why all of these guys are X Riot Games, X Overwatch, X this, X that, because they probably suck. <laughs> I mean, I... which is what they translated over here. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it's tough to say that, you know? It's like, yeah, they were in positions as, like, different parts of that team before he obviously came over here. Like, it's not like Adam was the CEO of Riot Games, for example. Uh, he was, like, a lead technical artist, I believe. And it's like, yeah. like I, he's not a bad guy, right? Like, straight up, he, he's not a bad guy. Um, but some of these decisions have been questionable. And I think, yes. you know, from yesterday, one of them should have just, or even a few of them should have just came out and took the shit. Because, you know, yeah. I, you're a team, you know, your company's fucked up at the end of yeah. the day. But we've always seen the Eververse team as one of those companies that are with the people. Not like, you know, the likes of Activision or fucking Blizzard, where, you know, you yeah. won't see them talk with their teams. Or all. This is Web3. It's all about talking with your community. And they were doing such a good job of that. And, you know, first and foremost, they should just go back to that. They should go back to just interacting with the team or interacting with uh, the holders and just, you know, take the shit that they're going to get because they are going to get shit when they first come out of the closet, have their first AMAs, you know, start talking in chat again. And I think, you know, as part of Battlebound's team, you've just sort of got to swallow that and move on. You know, talk to us like human beings rather than just an angry mob. But that takes yeah. time, and I, I don't know how long that's going to take. They created uh, that you know, separation, right? Because they grew bigger. Deimos had to focus on other stuff. They put people in roles to connect, and there just wasn't that same connection. Furzov, Susie, no offense to either of them, but they just weren't able to make that connection with the community that Deimos had previously not, established. No. Yeah. 
And that it, 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 this goes the back to the. It all goes back to when they first announced Battlebound, though. I mean, they, they lost focus. You know, I mean, I think you can read between the lines of, of the, the announcement that they released or Demos released that Eververse, and this is the saddest part, like that wasn't even like their first intentions. It was just like they threw something at the wall and that's what stuck. And now they're mm-hmm. saying, you know, forget about Eververse. We're going back to what we really wanted to do in the first place. Mm-hmm. That That's the the worst part, I think, for all of us is that we – you know, it all believed in the vision and what they were telling us and that, you know, all the stuff about Eververse vision originally, and they didn't even care about it. It was just and, a And then they lost stone. focus. Yeah. Could, now they've lost focus. It and they, they, the entire time. No. I mean, if they would have just, you know, continued to focus on hoverboards instead of trying to move in all these different directions, you know, and, and built that out really well first, you really had like one core game loop then yeah. you know maybe it could be successful because you it was for a while. I mean, we were you know all playing the game, talking within the game. It was fun. It was you know a place you came and and you know just like we are right now that we just hung out. You know, but I, then I think we started getting into the guilds and you know all of the grinders came in and then it was like you know you're 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 not racing. You need to get in the race and join, 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 and that type of stuff. I think started to turn a lot of us off. At least for me, I was like, man, I don't want to play. You know, it was fun to begin with, um, and you know, I think it just all goes back to you know they they started thinking too big and and lost you know like the core part of what was the beginning of of Eververse. Yeah, I often said that about Deimos, where it seems like priorities. And no offense, it's just like that might not be what he's good at. Or I don't know. I'm just saying the the team, whoever is in charge of putting the timeline, the project manager, I don't know what to do next type of stuff. The best machine, right? That was a miss. Interesting. Just the priorities. What yeah. what is gonna if do you really want to drive player engagement? Okay, what is gonna drive player engagement? Let's put that on the top of our priority list. Let's have a feel yeah. for the community. What do the players want? It certainly wasn't the best machine. Yeah, that doesn't make the game on. fun. I mean, You're still uh, grinding. For, for the whole year and they haven't done anything with it. I don't know who thought of that. Such a fail. Sorry, Keith. No, no that's true. I mean, I think I think it was you know it's that same thing. It's the not thinking about quiet. the core. Like the best was a complete mess up. Like it took a whole year to deliver a simple machine. I mean, what the hell, you know? Yeah, but it's I mean it's easy to say that now. You know, I mean, I think I think they had the best intentions. It, it's just it wasn't it wasn't where they should have been focusing their time right. at that point in the life of Eververse. You know, we really needed core gameplay. We needed more tracks, things to keep people. Um, you know, actually engaged. And, yeah. you know, I do feel like we've been a little bit of a mob here the last couple of days. You know, I think all of us are upset. A lot of us have you know, lost tens of thousands of dollars at this point um, with mm-hmm. very little sign of us making any of it back. And that, that's upsetting. You know, I mean, it's like they, in, in terms of leadership, they, they failed us. So, which is why, you know, in, is, the, in the announcement, that should have been the main focus. Don't divide the community and throw everybody into depression by saying hey you're screwed yeah. lead with the fact that yeah. you're not screwed we're going to give you a transition in the project OGs are getting what they need yeah, yeah. And then, but they can't continue to give us yep. stuff for free i mean i you know in a business sense i totally get it yeah that's you know, the but rub, the, right they, they didn't have to totally like you know chop eververse at the knees to the point where you know literally within a day the the asset valuation has dropped from 0.07, which is a lot lower than it was at the height, to 0.02. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's like we just lost everything in a day it's because big, of one announcement. Because yeah. of how the announcement was handled, yeah. right? How it was worded, how it was directed. Focus goes back to the focus. What was the focus of the announcement? No way to let us go. No focus. They, I mean, it's like they're yeah. they're flipping uh, back and forth between things now. So it's it's it unfortunate. Was, yeah, yeah I, I mean, at this at this stage, I I I'm still waiting on more explanation from the dev. But yeah, I mean, it's so poor, poorly done. Poor, I've got no idea how long, long we're going to be waiting. Is the problem? Yeah, yeah. months exactly. Yeah, I mean, we waited ages for this announcement. I, it took them a year to develop portals, right? 
that's a rough estimate of how long versus yeah. how much they can deliver. So Man. 2025 guys, Gulag. Probably. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If it took a, if it took a Luvium two years to get to a beta with a hundred plus designers and devs, bro, yeah. this shit's mm-hmm. never taken off. That's Probably the way I see it. it. It they have they have almost two hundred devs now with Luvium, and it took them like yeah. eighteen months Even. to have what they have. They're still Even in beta. A, sorry, sorry. Even if Project A takes off, everybody else is gonna have so much of a head start that it just won't make sense to continue delivering project day. It's just and crazy Freddy. to think that Eververse was like a market leader at one point in terms of yeah, quality yeah. and design. And we just threw that lead away. Like we, we actually just had the chance to skyrocket and that's now gone. Yeah. We could have used it with a token that would have been fucking moonshot. But not just the token, it was the choices that were made in in in-game development. Mainly the best machine, Mm. what content was coming out, it wasn't on point. And and Deimos knows how to build a game way better than me. I don't know how to build a game, but I'm a part of the community, and if you don't have players in the game, you're not going to have a game. So why did we go from such a tight community where it seemed like we were getting, everyone was listening to the community, we were real tight, to... It was like guarded. It was walled off. Where it was like, "Hey, we're doing what we're doing." That's that you guys, cool divide, man. That's that cool fit divide. Like you, you were there, like what, uh, what a year and a half ago? I, I don't know how long it's been since before even the hoverboards were a thing. And it's like we were like continuously asked, you know, what would you guys think about hoverboards? And then we were asked, "Hey, what do you guys think about a racing mode for hoverboards?" It's like we had all these questions, and you know, this great hoverboard idea was birthed from community suggestions in the first place. I, I forget who it was. I think it was uh, Karumi who suggested hoverboards in the first place. And it's like, if they just kept listening rather than just listening to VC investors, like it would have been so much better than it is now. Yeah, but we have to also take a little bit of the uh, blame here because we did vote in for the turtle racing as the second game mode, which turns out that was a mistake. We should have voted in a shooter and that would have probably went a lot better. Uh, I, I agree. Uh, I would kind of disagree with that. Sure. I think the shooter would take like a lot more time to build, like to make a mm-hmm. like actual proper shooter. More complex, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes a lot of time. And on top of that, uh, I felt like we kind of voted for a different kind of gameplay for Turtle Racing. Like, yeah, is it I supposed to be like? A, I don't think it's supposed to be like a copycat of uh, actual hoverboard racing. I think it's basically the same game mode, just with turtles. Yeah, a little, it feels a little bit like that, true. A little. Well, yeah, this is the hazards are the same, you know, like the, it's, it's similar. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. 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 Nothing new, nothing really new, exciting uh, in terms of traps or uh, mistakes that can be made there. It's like, I play like, uh, how much was it? 10,000, very close to 10,000 total races by now already. It was like semi automatic for me, just two fingers and I'm <laughs> done. No, no, no real effort. But yeah. As wishful as it is, I just hope in an hour and 10 minutes there's an announcement from Deimos apologizing and yeah. you know, saying that there's going to be an AMA or something of the sort. That would be that yeah. would fix yeah. and, and answer so many questions. I, I that's what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping for a return to old of what we were used to and communication from Adam. That's all I want. It might not happen, but I, I think you know a lot of us have a lot still invested in you know the one thing that we can do is like cut down the the toxicity that we're creating in, in Discord and try to ask you know for for you know changes that will help us long term you know because we just continue to to do what's happening right now of just you know calling everybody out and and basically just being rude um you know to all the mods it's it's not going to do us any good i mean sure it might make you feel better right now but um you know it's not going to make the the investments that we we put into this come back so i think our only option is to try to you know persuade them 
to do something with Eververse, to try to keep it going, to try to listen to us and try to make it better long term. You know, I think part of us, we have to have some type of accountability of, you know, us. We need to be you know, out there promoting the game as well. Granted, that means we need to have, you know, gameplay that's fun so that we can actually promote it. It's not the same track, you know, over and over and over. But, you know, uh, being part of a community or in an in investment, you know, you got to put the work in as well. Yeah, and 100 percent, I agree. The community shouldn't be toxic, right? Everybody's pissed. I get it. But we don't want to be toxic. The problem is the toxicity is caused by the announcement. You know, the type of announcement, the wording, the way that this is relayed yeah. to the community pissed everybody off if they would have made it much softer gentler and said hey this is what we're doing we're moving to this new project but don't sweat it here's what we spent time planning we're gonna hook you guys up and i know they can't give away shit that's the hard part right how to balance making money and taking care of the community that kickstarted you right so that's the balance i would just like to see more focus on that instead of Hey, you guys are all beat and we're and unquestioned, yeah, yeah, right? Uh, we we don't know what's going on. Everything is just so vague. So an AMA, what he's not what can he answer, right? Is he gonna be able to answer these questions? It might just be an AMA where Demos keeps saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I I do agree about the toxicity. Also, if we are extremely toxic, it will be easier for the developers to just abandon us and say fuck this that that's a, that's the thing that we still uh, as well are risking if we keep going on with the toxicity i didn't yeah. call them out and we're toxic uh, toxic i just um try to get more answers and I try i do understand that okay half of us maybe do not uh, bring them millions per month or whatever i understand that and maybe they fear that it's not sustainable okay they didn't really try in my eyes because the token can bring so much more and sure in this age uh, to utility and, and, and more uh, uh, natural growth for players that do like the game and think, yeah, this, this has potential. But yeah, it takes a long time to create a natural growth, of course. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I'm still, we, we still have to be, if you are smart, be patient and try to to give them a chance to solve this poorly made announcement because this announcement is just uh, it's like saying two different things right they saying okay we we maintain eververse right as a side project and we will focus more on project a because uh, i uh, because i do believe that that's a better thing for them in the long term financially that's why they clearly do this uh I do agree that, yeah, sure, I understand that the the best way would be um, saying instead of 10,000, 20,000, so we get like 50% back. It's not, uh, and, and rights to the token, right? That way, you won't be throwing under the bus like now. Because now everybody feels like under throwing under the bus, but I do have a taste that this, that's not really the, the case. I think they are still trying to figure um, out a good way to um, to survive because I do have a taste that they are struggling with financial and uh, surviving in this tough economy um, at the current rate because you see some hints from the dev uh, dev that's saying that. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's really unclear what's going on and I I I kind of urge to stay calm and, and just to give them a chance at least a week or something to come and explain let's think about what's the course from now on instead of this darkness because people are freaking out they're dumping EVOS they're making loose they're, they're sealing they're loose if you sell your EVOS I think you have not a lot of right to, to get some asset in, in the new game yeah, don't sell. Your, That's why I'm not selling. Don't sell. There's no point to sell right now. You already lost. You, know? you have to accept this when you invest in projects like this. That hey, mm -hmm. it's risky. It could go to zero. So don't sell. I would. I mean, unless you, you know, whatever. If you want to, and unless you know, two weeks ago was the time to sell. Not right now. Uh, <laughs> we wish we were in on that insider trading, but don't sell. Yeah. There's still opportunity to get. 
Project A assets in return for the Eververse assets. It's said in the announcement. It's no. said on the blog post. So that's the that's the light at the end of the tunnel. That's what we're looking forward to. That hey, Deimos and team are going to make it right, and they're going to backfill all the first arrival holders plus the turtles, the turtles, the Wonderland. You know, whatever asset you got, they're going to make a chart, and they're going to say for each one of these items you have, it's equivalent to this much stake in the new Project A game. That will make everything okay. Exactly, but the problem is we do also see that they don't want to uh, end Eververse. They want to do it on the side, so maybe that's not even possible. That's what, what I'm yeah. trying to point and out. And then the problem there is now we're fucked over because we're in this state of limbo mm -hmm. where yep. you know we yep. have no idea what's going on and like, we've, we've just been sort of like fucked. And you know, we, what are we just supposed to sit here and smile about it? And it's like, like, no, exactly. I, I feel like everyone that's angry, you know, is, is, has more than that right to be angry. I feel like they should definitely be getting it out. And the holders have done a good job of keeping the majority of it in the holders' chat. It's not like most of it is getting out to the public eye. Some of it is, sure. But it's like the holders have every right to be angry in this scenario. And they should be. Because that's the only yeah. way that the devs are going to listen. Is if you I... actively show that you're unhappy with the current situation. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I just indeed, I would say, speak what's on your mind, but keep bashing and drilling into it. I will just demotivate everybody and the developers, and they never will be checking this chat ever then. And that's yeah. a problem. That is a problem. Yeah, toxicity could be like building a wall between us and devs that they're just going to ignore I... some of the good points and feedback because yeah. they might think that, you know, I mean, the, the just being there, angry. You know? And this is exactly. why this is why like the so wall has been there for months. This, and this yeah, is why the cool. announcement is so important. That think of this turnout. You know everyone's going to be pissed. So how to prevent this and put that front and center mm -hmm. on, in the article in the announcement? Then tell us your backstory and your desire and your passion to build Project Day and all this type of stuff. But they should have led with telling everyone you're valued and we're hooking you guys up. Like your your investment isn't going anywhere. Instead, it's murky. Mm. We don't know what's going on. It's a vague statement. And everyone's just left, like you're saying, in limbo, where we're like, well, I hope it works out. You know, fingers crossed. That's rough, yeah, bro. So uh, and I think everyone's feeling it, especially those that have, like, got tens, if not hundreds of thousands into, the, into their investment. It's just a rough time all around, I think. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right, Andy. And of course, people like large investments are worried, and they and that and they selling. But maybe that's that's maybe the mistake because if they indeed have the intention to make things right, then then we need to have patience, in my eyes. Yeah, and that's why I say. And and that's the, that's the risk. I don't think Damon I mean, is I malicious. Think... I just think he fumbled the ball. He fumbled. You know, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't want to make excuses maybe. yet. Maybe they have been fumbling. They did some things wrong in here and there, and everybody can look in hindsight and say, oh, I could do it better. You know, and we yeah. have to balance the community expectations with the business expectations and, and think about all the different perspectives. It's just this, you know, what's that? Who he says, not like this. Not like this, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I yeah. get what you mean. Like, it's a lot harder exactly in the moment. Cool. I think but, the issue was... Uh... The announcement itself, like I think the ground was not prepared to see that. Oh, hundred percent. Like they, they didn't prepare the community to see that, and uh, I think the whole idea behind it, I think it's for better. Honestly, like mm -hmm. I was in the gaming industry for a while. I feel like building a big connection between the Web two players and Web three players would be the biggest move, and it's yeah. all for better for uh, for us. I think. But the community was just not ready because we also forget that it's NFT community and we were like doing the different stuff here. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they, they yeah. effectively crashed the, the Eververse market with this. People were dumping. And yeah. there's so many unanswered questions that maybe a little bit more clarity and a little bit more comfort to the holders, the community that kickstarted this project would have been warranted it would have been welcomed and it would have prevented all this backlash yeah i feel like it just keeps going back to the communication problem like yeah a lot of these just could have been solved with better communication and i feel like you know we as holders need to figure out a way to make it so that more communication is happening than it is 
and a better perspective I... from that viewpoint. There's no perspective from the players. There's no player perspective yeah. on that dev team. No one has a, a grasp on what the players want and how to keep a strong community, it seems, on that dev team. Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. Like the the main issue is the marketing team. Yeah, <laughs> what like marketing it, it's team? like yeah, because the marketing team makes a step by step move how to announce the stuff, how to prepare the ground, how to prepare the community, how to present the stuff we want to make. You know. Yeah, yeah. It was it was cold and harsh at the same time. It's like a, a big boom, and after I mean they sweeten it after with the, with with to get your stakes in the new game. I, I, it's it's how they pre yeah, present the announcement that is really the that really makes the ensure and yeah people uh, yeah ensure and and they they yeah they gonna freak of course but I I mean for me personally I I just gonna ride the train I'm gonna see what's going uh, next and if they indeed have the the decency to do things. In a way, right? And okay, I will still keep playing, but investing more at this stage uh, in their passion, dreams, or other games in the future? No, because you need to have trust in this crypto world. It's crypto. It's all built on trust. Do we even know what That's happened to game. Mayu? Uh, like, he, he was here one day and then he was gone, right? Performance issues. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What does that mean? Like his performance was bad or? His, his performance. I see. From, okay. from what I get, from oh, what was, I gather, was it worded like that? I felt like the, the you know, like yeah. the main goal I, and focus was kind of disconnected. Like his <laughs> idea of how to build things. Yeah, that's how it was worded, basically. But I think there was a performance thing. Let me just go back through the announcement. Oh, there was a Eververse announcement about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Damas was mentioning that like his performance was really good, but you know, like the. Maybe like different experience, different goals, you know. The he idea. wasn't the right person to lead the studio's Web3 or token economy design as there was a disconnect between his efforts and tangible progress in driving products towards release. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, a different vision. Different yeah, vision. Gotcha. Different vision. That's how it was worded, but it was performance after all. Okay, that's fair. But who knows? I mean, we don't know that details what what performance what was his job criteria being judged on we don't know yeah yeah i, I just feel like it, it it's kind of it's kind of bad to say that his performance was bad or something you know like we don't know yeah like just different vision maybe he just le left by himself we don't know yeah where where where's the announcement what date was that it was in holders lounge uh hold on i can just put a dot towards it one second this is the only announcement I found. But if you're interested, this is it. Big UK. Thank you, Karumi. Oh no, man. I just wish things went so much better than they did. It's just a bit depressing, is all, I guess. Yeah, it definitely is a sad day. But now the main focus now should just be. Building a connection between the community and the dev team, building their game out good, and just trying to trying to make that good game while making their investors happy and the community happy. Not, I'm sure it's not easy. You know, it seems like a lot of moving parts. It's very difficult to make a game. I feel that. I think it's the just annoying. Focus... Just, sorry, go on, Chad. Oh yeah, thank you. So I think that the biggest uh, goal should be like rebuilding the connection between community and uh, remaking the announcement, make it more clear for everybody. Yep. And like listen to all the feedback that we gave right now, even though it was like in a toxic way. But I think it's like really important to to have like a first big step doing this way. I think the the whole idea to my, to transfer to Project A, I think it's really good. Like the only way to make the Eververse very successful is just rebuilding the redesigning the whole game, uh, redesigning the turtle racing, the re redesigning the horror racing. I think it it would take like too much time, you know, 
and we are not ready to wait to just for, for like Eververse 0.20, you know. I think it's better to like go for a bigger goal and just try to go big with a Web 2, Web 3 connection. I would just get rid of Turtles there or leave as is and focus on hoverboards. That was like the, the core gameplay to begin with. They, they should just continue to make it better. You know, I mean, there, there's so many things they could just do that are simple tweaks or additions that would, you know, allow people to not just be, you know, uh, so much monotony in, in the couple of tracks. Yeah, but the main yeah, focus uh, now is think... Project A. So they're going to build out Project A, and that's going to be that, you know. That's the new game. That's the focus. That's the passion. That's okay. As long as we don't get rug pulled, I mean that's my stance. Hey, well, oh, I agree. Um, I think the announcement says that uh, Eververse is still on the line to build to be built. Yeah, yeah, but it's on like the back burner, really, yeah. until Project A comes out. And you can imagine what's going to happen if Project A doesn't pop off, or at least but, do well. I think you know, the guys, I'm just, I'm just continuing believing in. in Battlebound and Demos and other devs. So yeah, no. it's it's Yo, really it's really painful for me that I'm just I'm I'm just uh, looking at my uh, teammates, my staff uh, guys just step out, step back from from their roles, from the mods, from admins. This is really painful, but but I still believe in this. I still believe in Battlebound. I still believe in. Uh, I will I will make the day when when my teammates will come back. So I I just, I just really don't know what to say else. If if you really believe in this, you're going to be waiting years, and I genuinely mean years, unless they come yeah. out with some rust product in the next you know twelve to eighteen months. And in saying yeah, that, yeah, I know, where, I know. Where, where where's where's the funding coming from? Like they <laughs> they can barely support themselves now. Who's funding this? It's from like, A16Z, I think. No, we'll for see. Project E. That'll be a huge fine, sign but... for everybody. We're going to see how much funding are they able to get. And I'm sure that this decision has a lot to do with funding. It's possible that the, the investors exactly. don't exactly. want to invest, you know? I was, yeah. That was my one question to Dom. Okay, guys, some some alpha from me. There's a Demos uh, will announce something or, or probably he'll just jump to us but I, i'm not sure but this is small alpha and we we should wait i agree okay, with you i i i just will wait for the upcoming say week check what the developers uh, gonna say and make efforts to do it right and uh yeah i'll see just uh go put uh alpha first as well in the back burner and move on from there but yeah it is painful uh, and Sad to see the Battlebone kind of nuke the new kind of nuke the, the the community. It's they painful. could if they really had it down just to do things right, they could easy fix this. Easy. Yep. yep. Just one announcement. Okay, let's let's wait for Damus. It's painful, uh, but as long as they take I, I us guess, with I us, I guess I guess he project. He, he just we're gonna be all right. come with yeah. something to us today. All right, what's he coming, Freeze? What's what's the what's the alpha? Uh, Alpha is the is the day must come to us today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I'm is sorry. it going to be an announcement or? Yeah, are you 100 percent sure he's talking to us today? Yeah, uh, it's, it's made it's made an announcement. It's uh, probably they must uh, jump to us in VC and answer on some questions. So sorry, not some questions, a large quantity of questions. So <laughs> let's wait and, and hope. <laughs> That's what I could say now. The the uh, the thing about this whole funding issue is if you if you look at what they said in the announcement, if we were so much value to them, right? Why aren't we getting, you know, free mints for this shit? Is because they can't afford to do that. They need new money coming in. They need people to buy shit. They got a funding problem. Like hundred percent, they have a funding problem. Yeah, and that's yeah, kind of what I'm afraid I, of. I know. I it's... understand your concerns, guys. So I just, I just suggest to, to wait a little bit. So, oh, 
I get it, Freeze, but we're here to talk. We're not here to not talk. You know, this is what we're here yeah, to do. Yeah, we're not here to wait. Yo, <clears throat> your, your guys, your guys are really so cool. You're you're really the strongest community that uh, make uh, AMA without the uh, death without it means. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Petria, that was my uh, my I I messaged Domus one time yesterday. It's Geiserman here, by the way. Hey, what's up, um, Geiserman? I reached out to him and and I my my one and only question I just I just wanted to know is is where did the company stand right now in terms of cash on hand how much liquidity do they have which I know he doesn't have to give me an exact answer and he won't but you just went quiet there guys yeah, and then my last you, question was, what is the time you guys, like before you run out of cash? Because when he answers yeah. those questions, then we'll know really how soon and how much money they need to raise. And then from there, we'll know how much we're, our ownership is going to be diluted once we get transferred mm -hmm. over, if we even get any ownership rights transferred over to Project A, which... Maybe he will. Maybe they'll do the right thing. I agree with Guess you, Mario. I'm not going to be selling because at this point, I mean, we're down 98%. Oh, yeah, it's a massive loss. Please don't sell at this point if you're thinking of it, please. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I, I'm definitely not selling. I mean, what the hell is there to sell for now? Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I agree with I, I agree. I, th I think we're, we just need to know what their financial position like is today. That's Sure, guys, there is the public information. I think uh, uh, any information about funds, about the treasury in, in any company, it should be confidential information. But yeah, yeah, uh, I am agree. We we don't have so so much information about uh, where the company is located. Uh, even if it's a uh, full, um, full remote uh, company, I mean, full remote team, so yeah, we we should we should have information about where is the uh, main office located. I guess it's uh, California, but I'm not sure. You know, I'll, I'll take the time of day at this point. To be honest, uh, like I honestly don't like care where the office location is. I'd rather <laughs> just have basic communication. To be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm agree. I'm agree, man. They're in. But, you know, only, only time will tell at this point. Yeah, they're everyone's remote, but I think their their plan, the long term vision, is to build a studio out in uh, I think L.A. area. Yeah, L.A. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, right? That's probably like the most. Awesome, that's probably the most expensive place to open an office. So well, let's see if that will happen. But yeah, let's let's wait and see what the what demos are saying. Actually, I can't wait how he wants to spin it. It's definitely a lot of pressure on him as well. Like, if he wants to come up and give us some explanation, and everyone is like, you know, weighing every word. Uh, but yeah, I guess that this is just what you have to go through. Yeah, just take right. us with take, take us with you, you know, Amos. Hey, we're guys. here from the start, right. we backed you guys. And uh, we're with you, you know? You're pivoting to a new project? Let's go. We're still here to go. Don't let all of us lose all our assets and ask us for more money because you're pivoting to a new product. Give us a stake, you know? He said he would. So let's hope that, that it's vague, but he did say that he would give the players, the everybody, you know, what you hold. We don't know what we're going to get, but... I'm, st I'm still believing that, that they just have a strategy that they can unreveal this for now but that's for mm -hmm. now i hope i hope I, it's ju just my hopes my my believing uh i i i, I can't say anymore just just my believing yeah i don't know man like it's, it's massive copium like i i, I hope to but i don't know yeah, and yeah, I mean, we just what what we can what we can do now is is two things. First, you just sell all your assets, or you just uh, continue believing, and and hope for for good things will come. Yeah, I am partaking in option number three. 
Det var den der gulag. Men jeg er... Til at være ærlig, jeg er en lille bit glad, at jeg kan buy Zenith for... for... for 13 dollars. Ja, ah, han er ikke det. Guys, uh, I go off. I wish you all a, a good day, and I hope that uh, this uh, massacre still gets uh, yeah, pulled right for us all. You're gonna miss yeah, Damon. Thanks, for, thanks for, for participating in you, uh, AMA. <laughs> you think that you think that Damon still will come then? Coming here, possibly. Yeah. But yeah, Freeze, how, know how did you know that Damos was gonna come and talk to us? I yeah. mean, back back to my main main job. So uh, thank you guys for AMA. <laughs> thank you video. <laughs> okay, hope hope we'll see you later in next time. Okay, bye guys. Have a good day. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. Bye, bye. See you, Tech Smoker. Yeah, thanks for everybody for joining. You know, we're on here for two hours streaming. It just really shows the strength of the community. You know that we're still here yeah. we're pissed we're hurt but we still want to be here and it's a strong community i don't know you know don't throw that away i wouldn't throw that away yeah to be honest i've seen a lot of games a lot of communities and this is one of the best uh, and friendliest communities what i what i met till now and then yeah i had a good feeling about the game about you guys you are pretty friendly Uh, you you open, you try to help people, sometimes some nice jokes, but in general, you are good, kind people, and, and that's all what a community needs. That's all what it needs. I hope this will get uh, yeah, fixed, and we still move on from there, and, and uh, I think uh, we become in, with years uh, friends in this. Yep. But yeah, I mean, the, the guys, they have to pull it right, and I, in my eyes, I have only, I need only to have patience We have no other option. Patience or sell. That's the, the ugly truth. Yep. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining. Anyone else have anything to say as we wrap this up? Yeah, I just want to throw a few, few things out there. I think the biggest thing is, like, this is it's super disappointing that this was a project that you thought, you know, we were all building this together. You had that feeling that we were building this together. And the silence from Deimos and the team from the last few months leading up to the announcement yesterday was clear that this was never the case. There's a clear division between the community and the team. The fact that Deimos is so silent on these issues and not really <sighs> addressing the community or going into detail about the vague blog post about Project A, it just shows mm -hmm. that They're pivoting, but they're also pivoting away from us. If they really were, um, if, if Demo was truly cared about us, I think he would he would present himself more, and I think he would offer more direction for us. And I don't know, I'm kind of at a loss for words, but I just I just feel like this this has been planned for a while. This is not something that they just decided in the last like week or two. I think this has been going on for months, and we even kept in the dark. I think they lack funding. I think they lack support. And the reason why they're pivoting is essentially they need money. That's what it comes down to, I think. Like they are not getting any money out of this right now. And they realize if they drop a token right now, it's all exit liquidity for us. And I know it's going to collapse. Um, it's just a shame that this is how it's going down. I don't know if I'm explaining myself okay, but yeah, that's my two cents in all this. Yeah. Mark, what's your two cents? Hey, what's up, Muck? Is Muck, Muck here? <laughs> He's quiet. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, no, I'm just listening. Uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty sad about the news. Uh, I guess, really, I just hope that Deimos, like, he could have came into the announcement the other day with a bit more clearer path on how Evaverse holders are going to be rewarded into Project A. It seems like he did kind of leave that open-ended a bit. And I think that's where a lot of the frustrations and whatnot came from, is just people don't really know what's going to be happening to their Evaverse assets. But yeah it definitely does suck uh i'm just kind of waiting hoping that like Susie and them get that equivalency thing out where they know how much how many evas you had what that equates to a project day i'm really hoping that they don't offer us like some sort of discount for this project day i, I really hope it's like the one-to-one -one ratio straight up but really that's mm -hmm. kind of just waiting to see what they have to say on that uh end of things right. really
But yeah, apparently, yeah. I, apparently, I only got 250 races, and I did like over 700 during. You know, I didn't even get a ref. Mm-hmm. I haven't even checked. I All right. Well, hey, I appreciate everybody coming in here. We had a few final words. Anyone else have anything to say before we wrap this up? Oh, shit. Abel is here. Oh, snap. Abel. Abel coming into the tail end. What's up, Abel? What is up, my friends? How are we all doing? Well, we just had a two-hour talk <laughs> in here. I'll post it up on YouTube. You Not can rewatch good. it. But I'm happy to have you here and uh, hear what you have to say about it. First off, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. It's been fun the last year. I think uh, you guys have already hit it. You guys know what happened. It's not a mystery. Um, there's no uh, denial here. It, uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty basic that you know, this has been going on for a while. Um, hopefully, they, like you guys said, hopefully they do right by us. Um, they're not doing right by us by ignoring us. That's for sure. But um that's to me that's like the biggest problem we have right now is there's a hundred foot thick concrete wall now between the community and the dev team so i don't know how they're gonna break that wall down but <clears throat> i don't know man i'm uh 50 50 counting this a loss versus maybe a 50 percent chance of seeing some kind of equitable return based on what we've all invested so i don't know it's gonna be hard to return time lost and the amount of ETH we've spent. Um, but I think most importantly, they've fractured a lot of relationships. So I think them trying to build that is going to be, I don't know. I'd like to say it can do it, but they're really going to have to offer some huge incentives and a lot of apologies more than just an announcement and meet and Markle. I think that did a lot of disservice. I think people are more hurt by the, the way they went about this, like Bitrio said, this was not the the way to do it. And um, you know, mm. I was like I said, man, I really appreciate everyone in here. And I know we get at each other a little bit in Discord, but uh, everyone's got their own story and position. And and uh, it just sucks, man. It's uh, when you know, especially last year, we all knew that this could be something great. All they had to do was follow their own roadmap and open an in-game economy, not even the token. You didn't need the token. You don't need the token right away. You build an in-game economy. You get people, like they said, a playback loop where they can invest the time and the, and the energy they spend into the game and reinvest it back into the game. And then you open up a token when the value's there, when the game is fun, when the communities are built, when the guilds are built. Mm. But they didn't do that. They stopped their roadmap at Badge Machine, and then they did that BS with instead of having a passive game of racing with the turtles, they made it active. And that, I mean, that was the downfall right there. I mean, well, actually, the downfall was announcing Project A back in May, but that was the tell sell sign we all missed. We all missed it. That was their intent. They, they you know, they didn't want to make Eververse, they want to make this pet battler. Um, good luck with that. Uh, I'm going to be fascinated to see if they finish it and how it compares to Alluvium or any of the other Pat battlers that are going to be coming out. Um, good luck. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't see the success in the strategy they're trying to pull, but they're obviously at the will of their investors. And that's what sucks. This happens in AAA gaming with Web2, where the gaming company is at the will of the investors. It happens in corporations. Um, and we find ourselves in Web3 in the same damn position where they're at the will of their investors. It's, that's really all I got to say, man. Like I said, I appreciate you guys. and Send my love, man. I, I know everyone's hurting. Uh, even if you don't think you are or you're denying it, like everyone's hurting, man. And so I feel that, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say beyond that. But keep your chins up and continue to have faith. And if it's not here, find another project you're passionate about and keep gaming, man. Well, well said, Abel. Thanks for coming and sharing your thoughts. Yeah, man. I agree with all of that. All right. As we continue to wrap this up, I want to give everybody a chance to say something. So if you have anything final to say, go right ahead.
All right. And if not, I mean, I really appreciate it. We did two hours, over two hours talking. And again, it really shows how strong this community is, how much we care about it. And if that announcement came out just a little bit differently and mm -hmm. told us that we're going to be all right with the, the transition to Project A, I think it wouldn't have called this, caused this huge fracture, this huge division, <laughs> made everybody so depressed. But there's still a chance for that. You know, like Abel said, 50 50, let's go. I'm an eternal optimist always try to look on the bright side but i always want to keep it real but i do think there is a huge potential because like i said i don't think Damos is malicious you know he's just doing he's trying to balance this thing maybe just a little bit drop the ball fumble a little bit a little bit of miscalculation mm -hmm. a little bit of focus on different things but who am i to judge again you know it's, it's easy from the outside to look in and say oh i would do this better but I think the bottom line well, is, think, as long as everybody cool. gets a portion of what they have invested in EVA returned to them by having an equity stake in Project A, it's going to smooth over all this, and everybody will be, for the most part, genuinely happy. So go ahead, Tech. You want to say something as we wrap it up? I think he did. All right. Well, hey, again, I appreciate everybody here and uh, I ain't going anywhere. You know, I'll be around. So if you need anything, feel free. Reach out. Thank you, everyone. All right. Bro. Oh, you're here. awesome. Have a good day, guys. We see we see you around. We stay in Alpha and see what's happening there. Yeah, see yep. what's happening. Have a, have a good day, bros. Take care. It's awesome to talk to you all. Yep, you too. Yeah, guys, see you and good luck. Thanks, Jason. All right, are we out? Are we out? All right, we're out of there, and uh, that's it. You know, that was a good. That was a good talk. Everybody got to get in there, share their opinions, share their thoughts. Community, although we are down, we are not out. Still strong, keeping the hope alive. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later.